Hey guys, I'm Gaz from Axelot and Reptile Rescue Universe UK. I thought I'd do a quick little brief care guide on this little dude here. This is Dingo, he's our Chinese water dragon. This is part of the Agamid family, commonly known as dragons, so bearded dragons, frilled dragons, so on, so on, so on. So these are beautiful. To me, these are, apart from monitors and stuff, I'd say these are one of the most rewarding lizards that you can keep. Isn't that right? So I'll go briefly through the viv that you'd need, what size, their food, um, the heat, sex in them. So just a brief one, if you want any more information, if I can help, then just message me or comment. I'm no zoologist, I've got no degree in animals, I've just, I don't breed, I just have a extremely good hobby of collecting them and rescuing them and looking after them and researching them. So I like to spend a lot of my time researching different animals. It's just one of my passions. Luckily, also my wife's passion. Um, so these are a medium sized lizard. They look a bit like iguana, but they're smaller and less aggressive. As you can tell. But then again, you can tame iguanas and they're really good as well. These are just probably, I'd say these are a bit easier. Um, they normally are greeny brown, but their throat colours can be a lot different. So, the big, nice variety of colours. So, from pink to yellows. Which is pretty cool, isn't it? Eh? They're semi arboreal and they're very fast and like to swim. So, this will lead us on to the viv size. So, vivs, really, you want it to be quite big when they're an adult. So, I'd say a five foot, five foot by five foot is kind of minimum for an adult one of these. Uh, you need a lot of branches and foliage for them to climb about on. Um, you want a bedding that's going to hold humidity, so like cocoa fibre or something like that. Because these guys like quite high humidity, about 70 or 80 percent. So, in the viv, like I say, it'll be 5 foot by 5 foot. Um, loads of branches. You want a basking light in there. Um, they like it during the day about 31 degrees under the basking spotlight. And around about 27 degrees at night. You'll need a UV bulb, because they require obviously that to produce vitamin free, what is needed to, they need that to absorb calcium otherwise they can get MBD which is uh, the bone disorder and you don't want that do you? so food wise kind of like most dragons um, they like to eat their insects, crickets, locusts, waxworms, mealworms stuff like that you know right, even earthworms and um, they like to eat, well to be fair, fruit and veg they can eat it but sometimes it can be hard just to get them to eat it. Um, so you best off gut loading all your insects and stuff first, and that way they're still going to get that sort of nutrition. But stay away from all citrus fruits. Do you know what I mean? Oranges and stuff like that. You don't want the what like that. Um, so sexing wise, you can normally tell male and females when they get to about 20 inches, something like that. Um, otherwise, they're quite identical. Um, males will get larger jowls and have little larger spiky things on the jowls um, and also they'll have larger crests um, also the femoral paws, paws will be smaller on a male um, but yeah like I say temperament wise they, as long as you can put the effort in they're a really good animal to have really good Isn't it? we have him going around our house quite a lot of the time we just have a rope coming out onto the window it'll come out and bask it's good with the kid. The only problem I'll say with them is they don't like being handled as such, like being grasped or something. They like to sit on you, so they like to like perch on your shoulder, perch on your hand like that. So sometimes with kids it can be a little bit difficult. So make sure if you're gonna let your kid handle them, try to do it with adult supervision. I'm sure you would do it with most animals anyway. So they they'll live around about ten years. Males get to about three foot, uh, what two and a half foot to three foot. Females a bit smaller, two foot which is common in a lot of animals to be fair uh, but yeah I think that's around about it I keep looking down because I made a couple of notes just to try and get everything in so in the viv you want a big water dish at the bottom in mine, I'm sure you've seen it on my other videos I've got like a big tub at the bottom of mine um, I've then got a filter in there that goes all the way up to a waterfall because obviously that will help with the humidity the waterfall comes near the basking bulb so it makes it humid, nice and humid in there doesn't it mate you like to swim in there so it's deep, I'd say it's around about six inch deep, um, but I also have them out in the bath and stuff and stuff like that at times, don't we? 
Eh? But yeah, I would definitely recommend having one in your collection. They are, I think, absolutely fantastic animals. This is, so like I said, this is Dingo and this is one of ours and it's going to be like one of our mascots, so to speak. And we've been working with him a bit and it's just so placid and tame, so docile. They can go through teenage years as well, sometimes where they get a little bit stroppy and stuff like that. But as long as they trust you, you trust them, you'll be absolutely fine. Plus we give you a lot of food, so that helps, doesn't it? Right, so anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. If there's anything you think I've missed, please comment down, because I'm still learning myself. Um, and great. Thanks.